Have you ever struggled during your concept stage to create great diagrams that will support your ideas and concepts? If so, keep watching. I'll explain how I executed these easy, simple and great diagrams in less than 15 minutes. Hi, this is me Mona Abu Fayyad and you're watching Tips with Mona. Today, I'll explain how to create great diagrams that will support your concept stage. Keep watching so you can know how we did these diagrams. So first step is going to be on SketchUp. I have prepared my diagrams over here. Make sure that your camera is on parallel projection and you are using the ISO. And then zoom in a little bit and then go to File, Export, 2D Graphics. You'll need to export this now into a PDF. The next thing you want to do is that you will create another exportation from SketchUp, which is for the shadow. We will use it later. But for that, go to the Shadows tab, open it, click on this icon, Show High Shadows, set the intensity of the shadow. This should be enough. And then go to Styles. Make sure you're using Hidden Lines. Go to Edit, remove the edges, and then you're ready to export. Export 2D graphics, PNG. So now into the Photoshop part. I'll go to my Photoshop. I'll create a new, create your preferred size, but for me, I'll use A3. I'll keep the resolution 150. I'll make it landscape and hit the create. Now drag your 2D lines into your Photoshop. This is my PDF. Okay, now I'll use my guidelines. If you don't have your guide rulers, just press Ctrl R on your keyboard and it will show. Okay, I'll create some guiding lines for me. I'll use my selection tool to move my diagrams and separate them. I'll place them on the line that I created. I have my diagrams all moved. For now, I'll move the layer a little bit to make it centered. And then I'll just remove my guidelines. I'll drag them up. Maybe I'll resize this a little bit so I can work with the space. Now we will place some arrows to show the process of each stage of these diagrams. For that, I have prepared some icons. Here I have this arrow. I'll just drag it. Let's start. I'll do this real quick. If you want to change the uh, perspective of your arrow, just press your control and drag the points so you can have your preferred perspective of the arrow or of any shape that you want to control. creating the arrows, I'd like to create some guidelines to show where the cut is going to happen. For that, I'm going to use my pen tool. I'll use my edges as guides and then I'll move the shape. First, make sure that you're on shape, no fill is required, stroke is 0.8 and you're on dashed lines. I'll put my first point here, second point here, and third point is somewhere 
right here. Okay, now we have a shape here. Let's just move it to the correct place, which is once over here. And we duplicate it by Ctrl J and once here. I'll just fix the arrows. We don't need the third one. We just need one here for this action and this one right here. Okay. remove these colors, these grays from my diagrams with the magic selection tool. Good. Now let's make this part as if it is penetrating the cube. I'll just make a quick selection. Let's go to this layer, create a layer above it, fill it with white and reduce the opacity. For now, let's select all the arrows and the shapes that we've created and make a group. Control G. Now this is our group of arrows. Okay, now let's add some icons and some human and scale figures. For that, I have already downloaded a few. You can download these from the nounproject.com. It will give you a variety of icons. Okay, first thing I want to do is that I have this scissors icon. I'm going to use it. And this will show how we already cutted our diagrams and the process of how we separated the, the diagram. So I'll put it over here and here. And then I'll put the functions of each cube. For example, it will be like, a gym, a restaurant, and a library. I'll put them here. I imported my icons, I'll import the shadow that we've created in the beginning. I'll drag it. I'll set it to, to multiply. And then I'll try to make it fit. I'll scale it. Now into the text stage.
Now you have to have a color palette so you can choose few colors to pop your presentation. For that, I've got this color scheme. You can find many on the internet. I'll keep it here to take some few drops and to make some presentation. So as you can see, I've created a sun path here with my icons, some trees, some equipment to show what's the function of each space. I've added some human figures to show the scale. And after that, I added a color palette and I used the colors that it had. I didn't really stick to the colors, but I got some inspiration. Uh, I gave each... Um, I gave each stage a color except for the first one because it needs to be minimal so i gave each stage uh, a color and then i showed how it was brown and maybe just like a desert and then we made it look like a garden with the green color this is how i thought about it and then i added this background not all around the diagram but just around it this is really a technical way to make your diagrams pop in your poster or in your presentation. I think adding these kinds of backgrounds will make your diagrams pop. You're totally free if you want to use it or not, but in my opinion, it gives a dynamic movement to your diagrams. So this is the result of our tutorial today. I'll show you the before and after. So this is the SketchUp file. And this is the before. We had these diagrams. And this is the after. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notifications bell on so you can know whenever I upload a video. Bye.